everybody, it's Deb from DD Art Gallery. Today I have a 12 by 16 inch canvas that I'm going to just do a simple um, split cup pour and it's going to be a waterfall pour. And I'll go over my paints using mostly Arteza paints today. My first color is Bordeaux Red. My second color is Pearl Rose. And to that pearl rose, I did add a little bit of the titanium white just to brighten it up a little bit. My next color is pearl lime green. And to that paint, I wanted to darken it a little bit. So I added Artist Loft Metallic Leaf Green. My next color is Perfect electric blue by Arteza and again I wanted to darken it up just a little bit so I added Artist Loft metallic blue. Um, and to all my paints I did add just a little dollop of the Vallejo Pearl Medium just to shine them up a little bit. I really like this product. And my pouring medium today is two parts Floetrol, one part paint, a squirt of GAC 800 was added to all the paints and about a teaspoon this time of the Liquitex Gloss Medium and Varnish. And I do have um, a coat of the Artist Loft Flow Acrylic White on my canvas to help my paints flow. Here's my cup. It is a four chamber split cup. And I am just going to do a waterfall pour with this. I'm going to tip my canvas a little bit and let's just see how it goes. I'll tip it at the start and then I probably will put it back down flat. This cup total um, contains eight ounces. So I'm just, I just have a little bit of paint left here, so I thought I'd Run it down the sides and keep using it. I did not use any silicone in my paints today. Just running the paint up and down here, using every little last bit. Okay. Now I think I'm going to take my skewer and just run the bottom end, the blunt end, just to mix this up a little bit. Just run it up here. Just mixing these paints a little more. And I think I will torch before I get to tipping. Okay. If 
I have any negative space today, that's fine. Because I do have the layer of the white down. And I will bring it down to this edge. And bring it back. And I will bring it back down this way. And now I'll tip to this corner. And bring it back. Just gonna set it down here a minute. Take a look at it. Now I'll tip it to this corner. And bring it back. And tip it to this corner. And I think I am close on my paint because it is slowing down, but that's a good thing. And I'll bring it back a little bit. I'm going to set it down here a minute. Check my corners, my edges. Fill in here where it didn't cover the edge. Okay, I think I'm going to try and do some tipping back and forth here. I'm going to try and tip off just a little bit of the pink there, if I can. Turn it this way. take another look just fixing my corner here and I'm going to try and just tip a little bit this way I love everything about this painting I just would like to get a little bit more drawn out in that area if I could. But I am just so pleased with how these colors are interacting. And I'm not really sure I'm going to be able to move that down much more. We'll give it a try. So pretty. Okay, I'm going to take a, another look at it here. Okay. 
there's some areas that are really pretty. You'll get to see when I take you down for a close up. And I'm gonna clean the bottom off now. And fix the edge a little bit here. Okay, I'm just taking a look to make sure there's nothing in there that should not be. Looks pretty good. And I'm going to torch it quick. And these are the, um, the Arteza Pearl paints. I purchased them not too long ago and I'm very happy with them. down for a close-up. I'm just very happy with this painting. Again, this is a 12 by 16 inch canvas that I did a split cut pour, a waterfall pour on, using mostly Arteza paints. Here is the upper left-hand corner. You can just see the shimmer in there, so pretty. Very nice in here. This is a nice area right in here. It's one of my favorite areas. How that Bordeaux red, it just blended so well with the other colors. Take you up the middle here. In this blue area, you can just see that, that green coming through too. Very pretty. It's a nice area up in here. Pink is the dominant. And I'll take you all the way over to the right hand corner. Nice in there too. Love the love the stripes and how everything just played so well together here. And I think this is very nice down here too. Okay, let me know what you think. Give me a thumbs up if you like this video. And please share it. Make sure you ring the bell and choose all so you'll know the next time that I do post a new video. And until next time... Take care, everybody. Bye for now.